Have you ever been in the middle of a task and you're doing something at home maybe or you're doing something at work and then you're focused and then something happens or somebody comes in and breaks your concentration? You've become distracted. Well, it happens to all of us no matter how good we are at trying to put aside distraction. But let's just spend a couple of minutes talking about distractions, what it is, how to recognize distractions, and three things that we can do to minimize the effects of distractions. Why do we need to consider the impact of distractions? Well, let's start by asking what is a distraction? And the dictionary defines it as a thing that prevents someone from concentrating on something else. Psychologists say that distraction is the number one th cause of forgetting things. Hence the need to avoid becoming distracted and to avoid distracting others. Humans tend to think ahead. Thus, when returning to a task following a distraction, we have the tendency to think further ahead than where we actually are. Or in simple terms, we fail to do the required task. Often after an error has occurred, we will be at a loss to explain how it happened. If other factors are present, such as fatigue and stress, then the likelihood of an error occurring increases dramatically. So why is it important to know how to recognize and respond to distractions? Let's ask what causes distractions. And what I'd like to do is show you it is more than being called away to answer the telephone or the arrival of a friend for a casual chat, albeit very common causes. Guidelines for aircraft maintenance state, the working environment for line maintenance should be such that the particular maintenance or inspection task can be carried out without undue distraction. This all sounds very simple. What we all need to do is practice focused attention, which is merely the skill of a focusing one's attention upon a single source and avoiding distraction. And I realize this sounds very simple, but we do need to practice discipline to stay on task and employ strategies to deal with distractions effectively. But how can we do that? Distractions are a common occurrence, yet if they occur in a critical phase of our work, they can have disastrous consequences. So how can we prevent distractions? We all face distractions on a daily basis. Distractions not only lower our productivity, they also increase our stress. You probably already know what distracts you the most. Is it, maybe it's the phone, maybe it's a mobile phone or a text message or emails, or maybe you just browse through the internet, or maybe it's interrupting coworkers and so on. Strategies like scheduling email checks turning off your phone and leaving the office for a quieter environment may eliminate the distractions so that you get more done. Try several strategies to find which ones work for you and then stick to them. Here are a few tools that you might find useful. Three things. Firstly, set aside time to deal with worries. Many of us have trouble concentrating during the day because we're constantly worrying about other things. It could be an approaching deadline for a project you haven't started, or a new colleague who's causing problems, or just the amount of work on your desk. If you find yourself distracted by worries, then write these down so that you don't have to hold them in your mind. Then schedule time to deal with these issues. Secondly, switch between high and low attention tasks. This can give your brain a rest after heavy concentration. For instance, if you spend two hours working on your department's budget, you'll probably feel tired afterwards. You can recharge your energy by working on a low attention task like filing for 15 minutes before going back to your budget. Thirdly, prioritize. Having too much to do can be distracting. You may quickly jump from task to task, creating the illusion of work, but in reality, you're not accomplishing very much. If you're not sure which tasks to start or which are the most important, take 10 to 15 minutes to prioritize your to-do list, putting your hardest tasks when you're most alert. This will help you maximize your concentration and learn to schedule your tasks around your energy levels. I'd love to hear from you if you've got any ideas for how to cope with distractions, maybe when you're involved in a critical task or you're carrying out an inspection of some sort, then I'd love to hear from you drop it into the comment section below, strategies that you use to minimize being distracted.